<laughs> I got to do it before that rain comes tomorrow, too. Yeah, you got a little bit of time to get that done. And I was thinking about putting up the little inflatable snowman in the no. backyard. But, yeah, I'm going to wait on that. You're going to end up at the North Pole? <laughs> we are seeing some uh, rain totals looking back at the past 24 hours where we've had about a half inch of rain in Kent Field as well as a little bit less than a half inch of rain in Santa Rosa. There were other areas that barely measured anything, and that was most of the East Bay as well as the South Bay. Well, now we're turning our attention to the next storm that will bring us some high winds. We have wind advisories that will go up later tonight and region wide. It starts at midnight, goes through three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We could see some tree damage as well as power impacts as this storm moves in. First starting in the North Bay. Here we are at three o'clock in the morning, seeing the rain moving into Santa Rosa and then pushing its way into San Francisco as well as the East Bay and finally arriving in the South Bay by about nine to ten o'clock. There will be some breaks in between, but there will be more rain on the way. So not a lot of a chance to dry out here. And there will also be off and on showers through Sunday's forecast and then tapering off on Monday. So during this time, we're looking at some heavy rainfall here that could cause some flooding as well as some uh, street concerns, uh, some street flooding as we could get close to three inches of rain in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Most of us getting about one to two inches of rain. And while we get a lot of rain, the Sierra's getting no, there is a big winter storm warning up for uh, the whole Sierra range and we could see about two to five feet of snow over the weekend uh, that going along with 100 mile per hour winds travel will be nearly impossible there as well as the avalanche watch that will be in effect for the Tahoe area. So travel not recommended and we're also looking at the snowfall totals anywhere from 35 to 57 inches of snow. After all of that moves out, we'll have a chance to dry out next week. May not be until next weekend when we see our next chance of rain. So our seven day forecast sees our temperatures will be in the mid 50s morning temperatures in the low 40s and sunshine returns next week we can relax and let that water soak in